Aren't you guys having so much fun learning so many things about oils and how we can use them? So I'm going to come in and talk to you guys about using oils with your pets. So I'm going to do several short videos that are going to be very topic specific so that um, you can easily come back and find these. So anyway, say hello as you hop in. And if you have a pet, yeah, say, yep, I got a pet. Hey, Anna. So I wanted to share with you guys um, a recipe that our family has been using for our dogs um, to make a flea and tick repellent collar. Um, and so just a little background, um, we, um, kind of like well over a year ago, we did use some of the name brand flea and tick, um, medications, I guess that you get from your vet. And I really wanted to find another solution. And so, um, we decided to give this a try and so far it's been amazing. So I wanted to share it with you because where we originally um, had been living, so we are actually traveling full time right now in our Airstream, thus where I'm at right now. I wanted to do this video outside, but somebody is mowing, so we can't do that. Um, but we in Washington state didn't really have ticks. We don't have ticks, but fleas, we did. And so um, before we hit the road, I had to mention to my husband, I really did not want to go back to using the typical flea and tick um, routines and I really wanted to try something oily and so I gathered some information and so I wanted to share what we have done so and don't worry I will put, I will edit this video and give you all of the information that you need um, but first of all you will want to have a collar that's cotton and actually has a felt backing okay because this will allow um, the collar to absorb the essential oil mixture that you are going to um, mix up and put together. So I will link, um, these are ones we just got on Amazon, um, and um, I will link to that. But you're going to create a recipe. And so this is the basic recipe, um, and we have like made large batches, okay? So this recipe is three drops of purification, three drops of eucalyptus radiata, a drop of lemongrass, two drops of peppermint, two pine, and then one teaspoon of witch hazel. So you can make whatever size batch you know you want um, using those ratios, and that's what we've done here. We just make um, this all into a bottle, and then once a week we remove the collars off the dogs, and then we just drop some along the collar let it absorb for a little bit and then um, sometimes it's overnight it could be just an hour it doesn't really matter and then you just put that um, back on your dog and it has worked wonderful you guys we haven't had any trouble it does smell good too Anna yeah so so that is an amazing recipe again I will put all of the information there but I wanted to share another tip that my friend Katie Joyner, and I think she'll be sharing in here today, that um, that she shared with us, and it is to take um, an amethyst and just set it in your dog's water bowl because the amethyst sets off a frequency um, in the water, and then the water has that frequency in it, and your pet is drinking the water, which has that frequency, that fleas and ticks don't like. So it's just like another added thing that you could do. Um, and so we have one of these. I'll link to it. I bought several on Amazon as well. And so um, we just keep this in the dog's water and it's easy peasy. So anyway, so that is um, a tip. Flea and tick stuff. I would encourage you to try it. It has worked so well. And we have traveled over 11,000 miles in the last six months, been in through now all we're getting into the heat of the tick and flea season, but, um, but it's worked really well for our dogs. So I hope that was helpful and I will update with all the links.